everyone, welcome to my new Let's Try video, this time we're gonna take one hour to look at new game called Bridgeway, this game was released just now on Steam uh, by publisher uh, who uh, published also Mana Lords, so probably gonna get a nice little treat, so what is this game? This game is supposed to be like a merge between FTL and uh, Slave Aspire. It's a card based roguelite, it's supposed to have very interesting deck mechanics and uh, the way you manage stuff. So we're gonna spend one hour to take a look at it. I'll see if, if it's good or not. I love the ship design already. <laughs> okay, let's check, check the settings, what kind of settings we have. Visual settings, resolution good, limit frame rate, it doesn't really matter, this is basically a card based roguelite, it doesn't really matter what kind of uh, FPS we'll have, everything else is good, not too loud, not too, not too quiet, okay, oh by the way, I'm uh, recording with new audio setup for my mi microphone, so let me know in comments below if I sound good or not, if I'm too quiet or uh, too loud, I'd like uh, to know your feedback. Because I did get some sometimes uh, some feedback that it was too quiet or sometimes too gainy. Uh, so yeah, it would be nice to know in the comments if it's uh, good or not. Okay, so let's try uh, campaign. We'll go with prologue because I have no idea how to play this game. Usually I don't use uh, tutorials, but for this game I'm gonna make an exception. <laughs> okay. Sudden jolt awakens you as you hear a distinct uh, beeping of doors opening as reality creeps back in your in. You slowly recognize your surroundings. The cramped uh, confines of your quarters on the atlas. Uh, yeah, I wish... Uh, okay, well, my, I have always a bit of nitpick with text sizes. This is... It's okay, but uh, could be slightly big, bigger. I do not have best of eyesight, so no. It helps to read uh, stuff. Okay. Hey, wake up. Captain wants to see us in uh, command deck. He seems pretty agitated uh, and you look uh, groggy as hell. So let me do the talking. Head over to command, uh, the command deck. Yes. Okay, there's an unusual uh, flurry of activity as you enter the command deck. The captain is studying the data feed on one of the consoles uh, because of two, uh, yeah, because of two of you over. Uh, our infrared sensor detected uh, a large explosion in a solari, solari, solari. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Space, right where uh, one of uh, where research station is located. Whatever we were up to looks like it didn't go as planned. So this might be our big break then. A chance to turn the scavenge mission around and not go home empty handed. Can't be. We'd be closer to the station than any of the Solari fleets in the system. We can risk approaching uh, Atlas however. As it would be picked up by a fleet, scanners and it would be done for. A small ship like uh, Magpie will launch at our current uh, speed could get there undetected. I'll, it will run on minimal reactor capacity using one on the maneuvering thrusters for f uh, flight path adjustments. Uh, with all due respect sir, the fireworks will likely attract other scavengers by the, the time we get there. Which is why the lieutenant has, uh, he is tasked with protecting the Magpie in case uh, uh, things go south. I assembled a team while you make unnecessary, unnecessary preparations. Report to Docking Bay in 30 minutes. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is uh, basically now gonna be the tutorial part. Okay, this is gonna be basically the tutorial part. This is a ship status screen. You can uh, view statistics uh, such as uh, number of types, hard points, starting equipment, and crew. Each piece of equi equipment contains a few starting cards and has capacity to add more cards as you play. Equipment requires an assigned uh, crew member to function. Okay, so these, are, these guys are crews. Okay, what's here? Um, ship selection. If you want a better look at your ship, you can orbit the camera while keeping the left mouse button pressed and use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Once you are done inspecting your ship, click on the accept button in the ship selection window to proceed. Yeah, 
It is a scavenger ship. <laughs> ship. It looks quite industrial, not as military like. Okay, so we have a launch bay which is empty, assigned to AI. Uh, place all of our actual crew, cannot gain experience, has no abilities. Then we have uh, combat training, Ivan Bronco, gunner level one, zero. Next attack played by the stone deals 50% damage. Uh, Tristan Singh, scavenger, next shield card played with stone uh, gives 50% shield points. Uh, yeah, I probably should read uh, what we do. Scam, uh, scam provides um, bonus in scavenging events and extra system options to other narratives. 20% bonus combat credit rewards. So we get guess this combat training will be something similar. Chance to spot ambushes and get uh, the initiative in combat encounters. Oh, okay. Uh, force production gain to uh, each of resources. Mm -hmm. Can uh, provide advantages in certain situations. Chance to repair a hull and after combat encounters. Good, good, good. So, yeah, so we have a laser out a cutter, so which comes with three cards. Basic shield, three cards. And then we have one uh, card engineering. So I guess we is, um, mm, I guess we can have a ton of cards based on upgrades we uh, will acquire. Yeah, let's go. Except. Okay, all right. If you just follow the nav points I, I laid out, we should uh, be at the wreckage in about two days, and then we, then. The, uh, I'll meet up back with Atlas. I'm gonna change a few words in case it's a bit too hard to pronounce. Okay, we just stick to the asteroid belt as much as we can to avoid detection easy. I really don't see why the captain decided to put you in charge of my ship. Because I'm Zarza. And Zarza is the best. <laughs> okay, watch your, uh, watch your tone. While we are on this mission, this is your new captain. Yes, Captain Zarza. Listen and obey. Or I'm gonna space you uh, into a dark, cold vacuum of space. Okay, come on now. We've got a mission to do. You can uh, fight all you want once you're back in a, ho a holder. Okay, soon things settle down and everyone is at their assigned post. Time to start uh, familiarizing yourself with your ship command console. Okay, so we guess we need to head to this point next. Your console flashes and a warning indicating combat, uh, a combat near your fi flight path. Not uh, long after the infrared sensors flare as ship explodes, remaining ship changes course heading in your direction. Oh yay, we're gonna have a first uh, ship to hopefully blow up and not getting blown up in turn. There is no way we stand spotted us. We have been running cold for almost a day now. Just our luck, man. The flight path will take them right within the uh, radar detection range. Prepare for combat protocols. Okay, so this is where the combat part is gonna start. Okay, I guess that's another scavenger. Vulture. Yeah. This is a hand of cards. Displaying the actions you can take each turn. Each card requires a resource. resources to play, shown as numbers in the lower part of a card. So, okay, so this is. Cost of resources. These are okay cards. The basic cards I can play. Okay. This is a resource panel. Uh, the colored number next to the icon indicates your current energy. The white number shows you energy income in at the start of next turn. This is just carry over between turns. So I'm gaining four resource points each turn for energy. Good. Enemy actions are based on their equipment. Each piece of equipment has a card slot indicating the next action. Cards gain one pip each uh, turn. When all pips are filled, the card's border turns white, signaling that it will be played on the next turn. So, none of these are gonna play next turn. 
yeah, it needs to be fully white like this. Okay, good to know. You play cards by dragging and dropping them over across here region. Attack the enemy by playing two slice cards to, to advance. Okay, sure. Uh. Okay. Okay, I guess that's how it works. Press and uh, turn uh, button to advance your enemies turn. Okay, what are you gonna do? Shields are your primary defense, with each shield point blocking one damage. Shields help at the start of each turn, so de deploy shield card just before an enemy attack for maximum effectiveness. Okay. When the ship is about to attack, play a block card to prevent health damage from enemy subcommon attack. So basically this is very similar to uh, uh, how Slave Spire plays. Shields up, Captain. Okay. After card played it moves uh, to your cooldown pile. Cooldown duration duration is indicated by number next to the, uh, this symbol. Icon on a card. Once a cooldown uh, once ah uh, once off cooldown it returns to your draw pile. Press tab key uh, or click the card status UI for all of cards in your draw pile in your uh, hand or cool on cooldown. Okay, so let's check this. So we six three turns to cooldown, two turns, two turns, and we have still two more. Uh, Shield, car, shield cards in our deck, I guess. Okay. So... Not quite sure why my game is not giving me any more instructions. Target lock. Uh. Oh yeah, that's right. We done what he had to do that's why it's it's basically a tutorial on rails so i cannot do absolutely whatever i want okay Persist uh, persistent effects on your ship appear above your card oh wait i noticed one thing uh during between turns it seems um cards are not changing unlike um slave aspire where you draw usually unless you got a card which makes you like keep cards in your hand it looks like this game uh, manages hand of cards a bit differently and allows you to keep stuff. Okay, persistence effects on your ship appears above your card hand. Some effects last for a certain amount of turns, while others have a upkeep condition you have to meet each turn to maintain the effect. Okay, so we have slice for damage, cost for energy. Then we have target lock, what does that do? do? Deal plus one damage up to play at least one attack per turn. Okay, sure, we can definitely do that. Five damage, noise. Okay, now we're gonna use laser pulse, so I'll definitely wanna defend. Shields up, Captain. And we'll attack for five. Good. Hmm. Okay. So I guess uh, turtle is now less restrictive of how I want to play. So okay, no attack is coming. So we don't really need to defend right now. So I'm gonna keep. Oh. Okay, we won. Get wrecked. <laughs> Okay, we get uh, uh, 25 dollar reduce, whatever visa credits, I have no idea what visa called, so... Okay, this year is starting to get pretty lively. We should expect more comment on our approach to the station. Looks like we are not the only ones stupid enough to raid Solari facility. Too late to, uh, to hide our presence now, asking for permission to restore a reactor's ordinance protocol. That should allow us to squeeze some more power out of it. It also improve our laser's beam output. Yep. 
Okay, alright, got to save the protocols, we'll need some more firepower. Hi Captain, that should enable uh, it to emit uh, concentrated laser pulses, won't be military grid laser, but it'll be close. Well, as long as we're gonna blow stuff up, I'm not gonna complain. We have access to uh, ordnance resource. Ordnance is a main resource to, for attacks. Open your ship status screen now to inspect the resource area, okay? Uh, you have one un unallocated reactor power. Left click on the uh, ordnance resource to add extra power to it. Okay, so we need to... Okay, let's see. You can uh, redistribute reactor power between your resources at any time. Right click on uh, energy twice to remove two, pa two energy from it. Left click twice add. Okay. guess that's the game wants me to do so let's do it to close the ship status screen uh, click on the button again okay sure okay so we're heading to this waypoint we've got a ship closing in an attack vector looks like pirates prepare combat protocols okay what's now you can redistribute uh, reactor power in termin combat. Right click on uh, uh, resource type to remove one power point. Uh, power unit not point. Left click to add. This lets you shift your resources in uh, income to suit your needs. Warning and adding one power to a resource changes one heat. Heat uh, change, uh, changes take place after playing next card. Okay, so now we have to worry about heat. Not sure how that uh, impacts my ship yet. Ships can uh, hit resistance and dissipation value. Resistance is a amount of heat a ship can safely sustain before overheating, so we can take up to three damage. And we, I guess, we are removing one uh, heat unit every turn. Dissipation is the amount of heat removed at the end of each turn. Each point of overheat deals one health damage at the start of a turn. Oh, so okay, so overheating can be bad, obviously. Okay, so he's gonna attack, so I'm definitely gonna defend. He'll attack for for damage. Shield up, Captain. Hmm. Wait. Maybe I did a mistake. I could... Ah, it's okay. We'll use this uh, next turn, because I didn't have enough resources to use it. Okay, so... That's all I could do. Yeah, it will take some damage, I guess. No? Okay, this time they are not attacking me, so... Okay, cards with uh, this symbol, icon like the laser pulse, a precision attacks that can target specific enemy equipment. Then I can drop one of these cards over enemy equipment or card in the eye or a piece of equipment on the ship model to attack it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's... Okay, this text is definitely too small to read for me. <laughs> okay, each enemy piece of equipment, equipment has their bit of value in, uh, indicated by the shield icon. So, 8 damage it can absorb. When the bit uh, hits 0, the equipment breaks, preventing any action. Uh, enemy equipment... Uh, yeah. Enemy equipment is automatically repaired in three turns. The bit of damage from prison cards is indicated by the... Okay. Yeah, some texts are quite small devs. You shouldn't uh, have such small text in the pop-ups. Okay, we can definitely do one attack. Let's hit their ability to, to attack us. Okay. You can right click on uh, to discard unwanted cards, freeing up a slot for a new draw next turn. Discarded cards go to uh, on cooldown just as being 
as if it was, was played. Considering this can cart with are not uh, useful in the next turn. Okay, uh, for us. Okay, he's gonna do shield pulse. What does it do? Adds shield. Mm hmm. Okay. That means I definitely. Yeah, that's expensive, but that's okay. Or maybe I should just keep using this to keep damaging its ability to like do the damage to me. This is not a problem for me. Let's discard this. Okay, he cannot attack me because his equipment is damaged, so defenses are pointless. Enemy shields down. So we'll just keep attacking him. Okay, laser pulse. Mm. Yep, like that. Let's keep damaging it until it destroys. Until it gets destroyed. I should probably turn off audio for my own. Okay. He has only one hull point, so no point in uh, dragging this out. Let's kill him off like that. Get wrecked. Okay, we gain. Something. Click on the subsystem in, uh, item to add uh, into your cargo bay. Okay, so we got infrared emitter. So we'll drag this out on this automatically. Oh, so I need to click it to collect it. Oh, so the last time I did this mission, I didn't click it. So I guess I didn't collect it. Whoops. Devs, you should have explained that. Captain, we should uh, hook up uh, the mass uh, refiner module to a reactor. It's uh, crucial to, for improving our reactor's power output and st uh, strengthening the magpie's shield system. It was originally meant uh, for deflecting dust and minor asteroids, uh, not high-powered lasers. I can modify it to suspend high-density particles in its magnetic field. Diffusing laser beams and absorbing kinetic pores. This improves defense but requires mass. We also salvage a functional subsystem from a ship. I'm sure we can put it to good use. Might help us to get out of this in one piece. It. I'll be claiming that. Uh, I'll be claiming that uh, as a reparation for my ship when we are back on the Atlas. The magpie will need new coat of paint once all of this over. Uh, yeah, I don't care what uh, pains of course you'll need because by the time I'm done with you, I will not need your ship. Okay, you can upgrade the reactor with credits you, you gather on your journey. So, okay, so this thing is called credits. Oh, now it uh, shows what it is. Last time I hovered it didn't show it. Okay, to upgrade the reactor, open the ship status screen. Uh, click on the... Upgrade button below reactor upgrade. You can uh, have access to mass resource, resources for upgrades and repairs. Add your upgraded power unit to mass by left clicking on the resource. So, okay, so we're gonna get one resource in, for mass, two resources in energy, and three resources into uh, um, ordinance. Okay, subsystems. Enhance, comp cap uh, com enhance uh, compatible equipment on and your cars with various effects. Drag and drop uh, subsystems from cargo bay on your modified uh, cutter for application. Only one subsystem of the same time can be used add to, as an equipment. Okay, so we just do this. No, wait. Okay, but okay. Laser, uh, any attack from this weapon? Yeah, but which? Oh, it's a, an upgrade. 
Any attack from this uh, weapon that deals hull damage adds plus one hit. Ah, it's okay. Hope, uh, I hope I uh, use it on correct piece of equipment. Okay. Let's close it. Uh, station wreck neutral. This remains of a station slowly comes into view as you navigate to designated coordinates. Things seem quiet, but the tension in the crew is uh, palpable. Judging by the electromagnetic emissions, there should still be some functional equipment we can salvage in that section over there. Uh, wait, look at the fluctuations in those infrared readings. I'll bet you uh, a week's rations that there's a ship lying in wait to spring an ambush. Paper laser and let's go around to get uh, jump on them instead. Circle around and attack. Uh, advan okay, so again, gain advantage first attack deals plus 3 damage. Must close uh, closer to the wreckage to get a better read. Yeah, let's do that. Or not. <laughs> let's blow it up. Crew abilities. Crew members uh, have abilities. You can activate or de uh, or will ah, at will during combat. Respect the crew abilities hover over crew members portrait. Abilities do not use regular resources, instead they cost uh, command points and have a cooldown after use. Your command points capacity determine the amount of crew on board Ma plus 3 max points per crew member. Okay, so since I have 3 members, I get... Okay. No. Yeah. Something like that. So, okay, so we have uh, overload cannons. Next attack uh, played with turn deals plus 50 damage. Gain to Isos each. Next, uh, next uh, shield card played with turn gives 50% more heal. Uh, more and okay. so basically, uh, okay. Okay, so he's gonna attack us for four and another four. I feel like a shield would be a good idea. Let's get the resources. And let's get the texture shield. Shielding enhanced. Yeah. I enhance for two shield and I do damage to him. There you go. And turn. Incoming missile. Okay, delayed attacks. Incoming enemy missile. You can track missiles in the lower left part of the screen above your whole points. Missiles have a delay of one or more turn before we hit. You can defend against missiles by playing shield cards or shooting them down with a special missile defense cards. Okay. Nope, looks like that's not gonna help. So it's gonna attack for 4, another 4, so... Mm. Now what? Let's do this. Let's enha enhance some weapons and start de destroying his uh, equipment instead. This should take take care of most damage. Hopefully. Yeah, I took some damage. But that's okay. It's not too bad. Okay, another attack incoming. So I'm gonna defend and I'll keep hitting. I'll keep hitting his weapons to disable okay so I'm gonna okay no more uh, commands po command points so that's pretty much it you can definitely defend once uh, yeah I can't use attacks this turn
Mm. Yeah, these cards need to go. I need lasers. I need lasers because ordnance is basically something I can definitely use. Ah, perfect. Yes, it is also ordered. Lasers. There you go. Get wrecked. Let's hit this uh, missile. Launch as well. There you go. Okay, since I have no attack card, it's pointless to use it. I'm just gonna waste it. Let's strengthen the shield. Perfect. Uh, yes. Well, oh, no, oh, that's probably a mistake. Yeah, I forgot that ones. Uh, those were expensive ones. That's okay, we can maintain it normally. Let's hit his missiles. Okay. We'll defend with another shield. We'll keep hitting his missiles. Yeah, we're definitely taking a little bit extra damage. Okay, we can definitely finish him off. No need to now drag this out. There you go. Get wrecked. Okay, we get some stuff. Click on the flashing equipment to add it to your cargo bay. Uh, after you, some combat encounters, you can uh, drop cards to add to any piece of equipment. Click on the add a card button to select a card to add. Ooh, nice. So we have Blinding Pulse, deals 4 damage, uh, next enemy attacks deal 50% less damage, Shield Stream, gain uh, energy and uh, one shield, wait. And something once per turn, probably one shield region per turn. Yeah, shield duration prevents shield points from having from halving on turn starts. Ah, so okay, so okay, okay, okay. So basically, makes it stay one turn extra. Disable uh, one prod for uh, okay. That's ammo dump. Gain ordinances sustain to heat. Depletes. So I guess we okay. The room uh, from a uh, battle once played. So okay, so this is once, one, one uh, time play card, but it does increase how much uh, audience will have. But I kind of don't really. Well, I suppose I could uh, uh, move some points around because we kind of struggling at the resources. So we'll use this. Yes, we're gonna take some damage, but uh, we'll take some heat, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Moral terms are rate of, at which your crew command points will charge on entering a node. Each crew member increases your maximum command point by three. Uh, certain event choices can temporarily or permanently affect crew morale. Okay. Area, area clear. No further uh, hostiles in engagement range. Deploy a recon drone for a Visual sweep of a wreckage. Look behind that plating. That black box is the station's main data storage and backup unit. It's bound to have a lot of valuable re research data we can sell. Who, can, who knows what we were cooking up there? Are, out your, are you out of your mind? If Solari catches wind of us stealing that, we are good as dead. We need a new air recycling and a ventilation system back at the station, don't we? This is why we want this scavenge run in the first place. This is we still bring enough credits for all that and more. Enough squabbling, we got a limited window before more hostiles arrive. Our orders were to retrieve all their valuable salvage, so let's get to work. Begin salvage operations. Okay, we crew quickly work works to retrieve black box and um, Fill Macby Cargo uh, Bay with any valuable salvage we can find. After the work done, uh, you set a course for, uh, for rendezvous point with uh, Atlas. Okay, so 
Open the ship status UI screen to inspect the salvage equipment and install it on your ship. Okay, so we're gonna get a missile. Dark equipment. Uh, okay, I basically did that. So no okay, so it will use ordinances. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add one energy. Because we kinda struggle with energy. Ordinance. We can get ordinances with that uh, ordin ordinance dump, like ammo dump. We can get extra am uh, ordinance out of it. Yes, we'll take some heat, but... I can live with that. Energy is a bit more important. We cannot uh, do like shields and stuff, uh, otherwise. Okay, let's move. Incoming uh, uh, light beam. Tide beam? Intransmission from Atlas. Yeah, I think it's tide beam. Uh, Magpie with the Atlas, we got uh, a situation. A Solari have flagged us for information. We uh, most likely got all their sensors pointed at us until we meet up with their patrol ship. Okay, any time to pick up, you, you would incriminate us both. You'll be fine, but I'm afraid you'll have to return to the station on your own. Keep your uh, burn minimal and maintain low profile until you clear. Roger that, Captain. Stay safe. I heard uh, about solar interrogation methods. I wouldn't want to be on Atlas right now. This alternate route we can take that will keep us away from any major uh, flight corridors and known solar fleet positions. Should you, uh, should work, we have enough uh, Delta B and maintain fuel to get us to a station. Set alternate route uh, to a station. We'll take uh, us straight through, uh, okay, that will take us straight through a dead, dead weight controlled territory. Well, sol solitary scam, the ship is sure to attract some attention from both pirates. Come, best be on our toes, proceed. Okay, so we're gonna have to go with the uh, yellow path now, I guess. We have two path, ty path types uh, in Bridgeway. Main paths shown as blue lines allow only forward movement. Secondary paths marked by thin yellow lines permit both forward and backward movement. Okay, that's that's good because uh, sometimes like in Slave Aspire, it kind of sucks. You cannot sometimes like go back uh, like one level, maybe to pick up a like merchant or something. Yeah, that's that's good. It, we give some uh, options for backward movement. Moving uh, to a node on second path consumes fuel. Okay, so fuel is consumed for uh, these. Okay. Waypoint disliked. Captain, we interrupt a distress call. A civilian transport is under attack by a deadweight raider. We won't last long without a, our intervention if we're uh, route. The route power to the thrusters for Max Bond, we could intercept in time, uh, pulling the reader's focus. That's too risky, it would be, uh, it would be, uh, that's too risky, it would leave us exposed during the approach. The dead weight could attack us freely and it would be defenseless until conversations are online. It's calculated risk, diverting fire from the transport to us is the only way to save the ship, our hull should hold against a barrage. You will... Okay, so I have to make a call. Distract pirates and save a civilian ship. Plus one morale. This a disadvantage enemy initiative. We will wait until uh, weapons are fully charged before engaging combat advantage. Set out of this or orders are to return to base. So if I do this, that means I save a ship and everyone's morale rises this would be basically i guess let's let uh, them destroy the ship but uh, kill the pirates for scavenge and this is just don't do anything okay let's do this acknowledge captain this is the right call preparing for maneuver prepare for combat you divert uh, all power to your engines and fire up the forces to your maximum capacity before long the deadweight ship stops firing on a civilian uh, transport and turns its attention to you. Okay, let's blow up those pirates. Okay, they gonna attack me for... 
Ouch. At least let, you should could have let me to like well put some shields on. Enemy ship has a flag cannon. Flag inflicts random damage within range. Must uh, most flag attacks have a shredding value? Hull damage from a flag what is equal or high wait. Hull damage from flag what is equal or higher when uh, attacks shredding value triggers a shred. Status effect on the target. Each shred uh, stack raises flag minimum minimum damage by one. Shred decreases by one if not Okay. So if not it applies with turn next turn. It loses with bonus, okay. Okay, so they'll put up a shield. We can dump this and launch a missile. I'm gonna, yeah, let's apply this so that next time we'll get a attack card, we'll get a bonus. And for now, I'm gonna save uh, my command points. There you go. So let's put shields. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I definitely wanna destroy his uh, flag cannon. That's the easiest one to destroy. Okay, the flag cannon is down. Now we need to take care of his laser burst. Launch a missile, shields. Okay, attack is coming for four, so that's gonna be plenty to defend. Destroy this. Okay, only seven more call points left. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to destroy this. It's incoming for. F ah, that's okay. Let's keep, keep shields on to m make sure that we are not gonna get attacked, and we can finish them off. Get wrecked. Okay, we get uh, POC array. Uh, 30 credits and some car and a car choice. Paired pulse, deal free damage, precision. Requires one energy, but uh, kinda like what I have. Light torpedo deals uh, to damage after two turns. Requires three ordinances. Shield amplifier gain. Uh, 10 shield require, requires shielded. So it, wait, so it have to be shielded to use it. Okay. Harness strike. Gain one shield point every time you, uh, you play laser or iron attack. That's not iron, that's laser, I guess. Okay, so what I wanna, wanna do... Let's get this. I like torpedoes. Torpedo way. Okay. The point defense scan a new salvage from an enemy goes on the AUX mount provided effective, effective defense against enemy missile. Okay, let's get that. That's gonna make stuff easier to defend against missiles. Let's go. You come across an abandoned repair station. A large part of it has been stripped clean by scavengers, but upon a closer inspection, one of the maintenance bays still seem to be functional. Dock at an attempt to do some repairs. It may not look like it, but some of the equipment left here is actually good working condition. Your engineer gets to work with an assistant of the rest of the crew. A few hours later, a full a hull looks better than ever. Nine hull points repaired. Oh, how nice of you. So I guess we have a boss fight next. <laughs> I, I guess this game has bosses. This is... Roguelite, after all. Waypoint disliked. Yeah, people don't like it, but that's okay. So a, gun sh a gunship is getting ready for to fire. Must have uh, some stealth tech kept uh, kept on 
hidden from the magpie sensors until we made the way into direct engagement range. We got an incoming hail, patch it through. Dead with Captain, where you are, little magpie. We've been looking forward to have a word with you. Okay, we just need to get messy uh, hand over with that accord you got in your hold and you'll fly away unscathed with all the rest of your scavenge. Power down and prepare for boarding. Uh, Captain, if we power uh, uh, if we power down our reactor we are as good as dead. We are dead either way, we can take a light cruiser on the ship. When you go down swinging, I'm not uh, taking orders from a pirate. Engage combat protocols, we must uh, make our stand. It saddens me to hear you close, uh, chose violence, Captain. My data core is designed to extend thermal nuclear bl uh, blast. Don't expect us to hold back. Ah, okay, how nice of him. <laughs> to fight us at, in full. Okay, careful, that spirit shot can shoot down our missiles. Okay, so we have spirit shot, which is anti-missile incoming damage for two we have P pdc okay so i'm gonna put this we'll do some damage to him let's gain some uh, uh, some more Resources. I'm gonna keep other command points as I need for that stuff. Okay, that was five damage, full damage from. Oh, that's a lot of damage incoming. That's not good. Yeah, I have no way. Uh, wait. Shield, yes. Incoming missile. Ouch, that's a lot of damage. Let's shoot the missile down. Missile okay. So I still cannot do anything about this. Um, wait. Unpredictable aim. Could I shoot him? Yeah, we're gonna take some damage because I don't have any shields anymore. Bonked. Okay. More damage? Yeah, that's gonna not gonna be pretty, isn't it? Ooh, that's a lot of damage coming next turn. Incoming missile. Can I use it? Wait, it requires three product rod. Deal nine damage after two turns, of course. Hmm. Uh, yes, let's destroy his sh uh, shell shot. This could not, may not be a good thing to do. Okay, let's see, what can I do? Beam sweep, yes, let's target this. Yes, I can definitely defend. Let's do more damage to you. Good. Unfortunately, I have no more command points to use anything. Okay. An attack incoming, so... Okay, he doesn't have any shred as well, so... I'm definitely using this. Go. Okay, that's taken out. Mm -hmm. 
Just let's take out this uh, missile. You are now shielded. This shield. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, not good. Cannot use these. So let's shield and get full uh, a hand of cards next turn. Yes, Captain Obvious. I can see him taking damage. Shields up, Captain. Uh, but can I take out? Just taking this out. Mm, yes, take this out. Oh damn! It, I didn't shield myself. Oh no! I didn't click on shield properly. Whoops. Missile launched. Uh, that's a lot of missiles. Uh, but go on. Victory? What? What happened? I just survived? Capacity gain, energy sustained to heat, shielded, firecracker, deal to damage three times in uh, one turn, depleted. I'm gonna take one more PDC because, man, being able to shoot down missiles is good. Okay. Looks like we arrived just in time, Captain. The director dispatched us from your safe, uh, uh, for your safe return after he hearing about Atlas incident. We'll continue the pursuit of a ship. Your path is in, uh, to the station is secure. Oh, so I guess well, that missile barrage we saw on the left si right side was from friendly. Oh, okay, I didn't have to fight uh, all the fight. Everything. Home station ahead, Captain. Preparing docking procedures. Uh, once docked, the station spin gravity kicks in, you and your crew disembark and head to your station quarters to rest while dock workers start unloading the cargo bay. Okay. A few hours later, you get a call. You get called to meet the station director in her office. I had our researchers uh, look at the data you have brought back in uh, the black box while having encrypted. Uh, uh, while heavily encrypted, we managed to extract some da data on the research we were in conduct at the station. It has to do with an anomaly that kept uh, swept through our system a while ago, knocking out a large part of electronics. The equipment about the research station was able to extract some sort of uh, information from it, leading them to believe that it was uh, coded message, message or signal of unknown origins. The data shows multiple star system, systems within the Bridgeway network were similarly affected. We led them to trace the tra trajectories to a set of coordinates where we uh, converge. There's a lot more information here, but the description is it for the take some time. Okay. Whatever else it may contain, this information is too dangerous to keep here. The solar AI will come looking for it sooner or later. We are already moving carefully close to a system uh, bridgeway access points. We don't want this getting out. Take a black box with you and leave. Uh, Rin will accompany you to for the decrypted data. Judging uh, by the solar response, this signal could lead to something important that could shift the balance of power. Me and Ivan are joining you as well. There's no way you're going on some crazy suicidal uh, adventure while we are staying behind to do maintenance work on the uh, ventilation system. Good, we are preparing Corvette class gunship in the hangar for you. Posing as mercenary will allow you to move freely within the Bridgeway network without raising suspicions. Once you are ready to leave, uh, head to the random system in the Bridgeway network and from there start making your way towards the signal coordinates. We should uh, make it uh, more difficult for Solari to connect you to this whole thing. Let's beat Captain. Head to a hangar. Okay, so tutorial is guess I guess is done. Okay, that's a ship from <laughs> the title screen. And let's see what's it called Arbalest. 
So you have pulse laser, shield and uh, condensation, marauder, light flag, light barrage, opening shot, and twin barrels. Yeah, not a lot of weapons, unfortunately. Uh, basic shields and uh, rest be organic search. Oh, ordinary search, not organic search. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, Lancer, railgun, processor. Okay, this one doesn't have much. Glitch firewall, so I guess this would be like um, electron, like Eeyore, like some Eeyore type of thing. Radiator, yes, it'll radiate. What else we have? Uh, firebrand, Paraclast. Barrier, Shield Pulse. Uh, Asteroid 1 and we have of course radiator What else we have and we're back to that So okay so well uh, okay oh so there's some flavor text I missed A well-rounded ship that strikes uh, balance between offense and defense It both pulse laser that performs best in multi-attack uh, bars destroying enemy equipment with ease Reach your first uh, system boss with ability to unlock Ah so this is a uh, Okay, this is one's lock. And to the second system, we a marauder. Oh, so locked. So okay, so basically I have only this ship to use. Okay, okay, so we can definitely use what we have. We'll have uh, we still have a weapon mount which is not used, launch bay which is not used, utility hard points and uh, external and auxiliary and utility hard point so okay let's um can i name my ship no i don't okay okay let's go wait did i forgot to click something ah, it doesn't matter i'll figure out <laughs> Uh, most map uh, nodes are under the control for one of the uh, game's factions. Uh, events of at least nodes are influenced by your standing with a controlling faction. Some events can present choices that can modify your relations with one of your factions. Factions relations are grouped as follows. Hated, allied, okay, that's basically normal stuff. Game, Captain, our sensors uh, detect a group of... Uh, Starkin gunships on our flight path. Looks like we are trying to block any ships from entering the system through a uh, beach recorder. Okay. Uh, judging by the large number of civilian ships for the head, the blockade is meant for to keep people in. It looks like, looks like the gunship is uh, in disarray. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. It looks like the gunships are in disarray. We haven't reacted to our approach. If we make a, a run at full. A burn we can punch through the little fight. Yeah, sure. Blockade neutral. Uh, busy with trying to prevent civilians from fleeing the system. Only a security drone has uh, noticed your approach. It's heading our way on intercept course. Prepare com for combat. Well, I, I'm not. I don't really much have intercept for equipment. Yeah, we're not gonna fight any bosses. <laughs> okay. No attacks are incoming, so no no use to use uh, my items. Yeah, let's do an attack. Oh, I suppose we can start chilling ourselves up. We'll keep other abilities for now for other stuff. Let's see what we do. Uh, give me uh, energy for every day you spend. Uh, Oh, so I can use up all my ordinances. I don't want to do that. I definitely don't want to do that. I'd rather put a shield on and wreck your ability to attack me. Or... 
Uh, maybe do something like this. Let's see how it works. I have no idea, no idea if I'm using this card correctly or not. Okay. Catalyst Pulse, deal for damage. Well, that's the only thing we basically have. Destroy his ability to attack me. Next turn. Okay, 13 more health points left. Less damage to your shield. Uh, looks like I didn't do much damage to you. Yeah, that would be nice if I could do some damage to you, but... Uh, what's it doing? Repairing something? Oh yeah, the... Okay. It's not attacking me, so no use to use... No use using it. Let's keep hitting its uh, weapons. Ouch. Shields up, Captain. Yeah, that's build enough to defend. Mm, yes. Defend. Yes, let's destroy your shields and you're dead. Yay, get wrecked. 24 credits, add a card. Oh, we got more options. I'm not exactly sure what this zombies works. Laser deal for damage. All postcards played this turn deal plus one damage. Hmm, not sure if it's a good idea to pick it or not. Hardness strike. Gain one shield point every uh, time you play a laser or iron attack. That would be useful. Auto shield, uh, gain uh, for shield and draw a shield card from your draw pile. If draw succeeds, add plus two shields. Oh, I guess that's extra shield, but nice. Blueprint, draw two support cards. All support cards cost one less. With some de oh, it's depletable. Hmm. Wait, I'm only reading uh, half a cards. Optimization, gain uh, one uh, ordinance for every uh resource you spend with this turn wait all post has played mm, okay we already know what this does as shields hmm I think I'm going to go with this. A way to get a few extra cards. That's nice. Okay. Let's go. After uh, we breached uh, the blockade, multiple ships tried to make a run and exit the system. As you mix with, uh, in with a group of civilian vessels, the Sark and Gunship break off pursuit and uh, focus on keeping the fleeting, fleeing ships in. In came a message request, Captain. It's impossible to isolate the source with so many ships grouped together. Greetings, Captain. Impressive skills you have shown there. I could use the service of, uh, services of bold freelancers such as yourselves. I'm a data broker with trade, willing to offer a generous reward in, uh, in exchange for some valuable intel. I need uh, to gather data on the strength of the ships in the sector, and by the looks of it, this isn't the last uh, fight you'll get yourself in to send me your combat logs after 6 combat encounters, and I'll uh, transfer 150 credits on delivery. Oh, and the captain pick uh, a weapon from my reserves while you're at it. Uh, you'll need it all the pipe you can get, consider an investment in your future. Okay, so we're get, getting a weapon. Tip, you can uh, press tab on the keyboard to freeze the equipment. Okay, well, yeah, keep in mind you uh, have to move equipment to operate the launch bay if you pick a missile launcher. Tick missile rack. Yeah, sure. 
Uh, open the ship status window and assign a command to operate a newly added missile. Okay. We need to uh, open open status window. Yes. Uh, here we are. Crew install the weapon and proceed. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, okay. Okay, we're gonna use the UI AI. It doesn't give any extra bonus, but at least it's usable. Hot reload every six turn attack uh, returns to your drop while uh, instead of going on to cooldown. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Now where we want to go? Conflict zone disliked, waypoint disliked, disliked. Whatever I do, everything is disliked. Why? <laughs> uh, fight six enemies. Uh, I guess the easiest way to do that would to go through with unknown sectors. I bet there's gonna be a ton of uh, uh, pirates and stuff. Conflict zone disliked. Whatever I'm gonna choose is gonna be disliked, so. Let's do this. Not far from your current position, a Solari merchant ship slows down in order to inspect the likeness of you being a potential client. We seem reluctant to reach out to us. Would you like to con uh, contact them in order to browse the equipment, Captain? Captain, inquire about your equipment. Ignore merchant ship and carry on. In okay, let's see what we'll have. Uh, sorry, Captain. Uh, browsing uh, is for clients who can afford my stocks. I have to make a link too. Ouch. I'm not... I have 99 credits. I'm not broke. <laughs> well, I guess I am broke. Okay. An indigenous ship present uh, in contested star uh, Stark in space is approaching on an attack vector. Prepare for combat. Hey, you're gonna have a combat. Okay. Here is spear shot, so and so uh, for this in missile deal. Okay, that's a defensive one. Ha have rush deal. Okay. So we definitely gonna defend. Up, and start wrecking his uh, ability to shoot down missiles. Missile loader and two star missile cars to your draw pile. Okay. You shall not destroy my defenses. Let's keep destroying his shielding enhanced captain. Hey defenses. Good. Mm, okay. No, I don't want to play that. Okay, draw two support cards. All support cards cost one less. I just want to get rid of get rid of this of my draw pile. Um, add stuff. Okay, I can't use missiles because wait, black reload, reload black. Oh wait, I can I can damage. I can do damage. I can do damage. Get wrecked. Yes, give me more missiles. Okay, I used up all my resources. That's just okay. Oh, I took some damage. But that's okay. Wait, do you have an, wait, an attack? Again, okay, I'm gonna do this. I, I need some resources. Let's launch some missile because it's not gonna attack us, so no point in using any other cards. Yes, that should be enough to destroy him. Bonked, get wrecked. Hey, fireworks! 24 credits, and now leave. Okay, we got one uh, attack done. Okay, let's do one more uh, 
one more encounter. Yeah, let's do it over here. Dead with conflict zones are impossible to police with uh, a limited resource of local factions and dead with ship is locked in our drive signature and is approaching from its starboard. Prepare for combat. Yay, combat. Larzo is way more powerful. <laughs> okay, he has no way to shoot down my missiles. And he's not attacking me, so what I'm gonna do is damage this. The only weapon that can do damage. And, and use other cards while I can. Mm, yes, let's keep destroying your ability to attack. Uh, yes, let's give give me more resources. I just want to destroy you as fast as possible. Ouch. Okay, I should... You are now shielded. I need to remember to shield myself on occasion. Okay, I need uh, a bit more damage and he'll be done for... That, that uh, one sh missile should take him out. Yep. Bonked. Get wrecked. 26 uh, credits. And let's add the card. Optimization. Message. Gain. Resort uh, uh, stain on heat. Mm, what do I want? Firecracker, quick pulse, deals this free damage, minus one cooldown for next attack, play the stun, repeater pulse for damage, return a laser card from a cooldown pile to your hand, cannot return itself, precision. I kinda like this idea. Okay, so, uh, I think this is where uh, we can see we had a nice look at the game. It definitely, the way it plays, it's definitely more like, it's definitely an interesting way of like doing this whole card game. Uh, each uh, equipment can bring different uh, starting cards and just you try to build a card deck like uh, in that way. Uh, crew management, although we haven't yet encountered how to get more uh, crew, but probably as we would play, would probably find them i'm probably gonna continue this um, campaign on my live streams on twitch uh once i finish uh, frostpunk i'm fairly close to ending that i like the game it uh, it plays nice who doesn't like a pew pew on, in a space <laughs> so yeah so far i haven't encountered any bugs uh, some text sizes issues there was one pop-up which was a bit too hard to read but uh, others fairly good uh, of course, I would uh, love to see uh, some sort of text size slider option in settings, but it's an indie title. I'm probably not gonna get that, unfortunately. It's just my preference, but well, it is what it is. I give it a. I'd say it's a good game. Yep. It's a good roguelite game. And I'm definitely gonna play on my live streams on Twitch once I'm gonna deal with playing Frostpunk. So, yeah. These are my thoughts, definitely worth trying out, and uh, oh yeah, and make sure you like, subscribe, it will help uh, grow, the uh, well, grow my channel, and uh, you'll get more, uh, uh, and you'll be notified when more videos become available, so make sure you ring the bell notification, thanks, thanks for coming, uh, watching to the end, great, appreciate it. Zabza games uh, from Zap. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you next time. Uh, you should see more videos now on screen. Watch something from it as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.